we've got, I made mean, creep yesterday, we've got about a third of a grinder mixer of creep already mixed up in here, which was 10 bags of supplement, 10 pails of corn and 20 pails of barley. And now we're gonna unload some so we have some to feed and then we'll be making more. It chops and mixes the three products into pretty small pieces, actually. The pellets are, some pellets are not fully chopped and others are, are. So the pellets don't go, get chopped. Oh, they don't get chopped. They go directly into the mix. Well, there you Only have the it. corn and the barley that gets ground. Okay. Right now we're feeding uh, corn, full green. It's not chopped. It goes to the uh, to the ewes. The, all the ewes are getting them. The cedars group, the group that is in barn one that's going to lamb in May, and the ones that are lactating right now. So we feed by pail in the feeding alley on top of the hay. creep area on the north side of barn two so right now we're just doing it by pails because that's our only option for the time being the ewes think it's corn So each creep area provides free choice creep. Continuously alter the uh, size, the opening size. So you have the three rings. You've got one, two, and three. That allows us to move this bar here up and down based on the size of the lamb. So as they grow, 
the space gets bigger as there's when they first start out the space is smaller each family pen has a slightly different setup it's basically in general it's the same setup but it's slightly different size is different location is somewhat different but basically they're all fed the same thing they're fed a corn barley supplement mix which is uh, crushed or chopped rather so that it is easily uh, digested and it's, it's free choice they're still in with the ewes so this allows them to eat hay from the hay feeders creep from the creep feeders the moms can't eat it all on them so they're in their own area they can come and go as they choose and they are basically introduced to creep within the first week of uh, being born and they just continuously eat more as as they need it based on their weight and their age and and then when it's time for us to wean them then it is uh, much easier on their system because they make the full switch to just eating creep and hay these ones are about between five and six weeks of age at this point. We've had no issues with uh, diarrhea. We've had a couple of um, a couple with it. We treat it with a shot of uh, Medicam, and it has resolved itself within a day. The only other issue we've had is we've had a few of them that had pneumonia, and that started within the first days of uh, of, of birth. It's possible that they uh, had some fluids enter their lungs when, when they were being born. And within two days, if they still, sound, they still sounded congested, we gave it a shot of new floor. And same thing, it rectified itself within two days. And the odd one that was still congested two days later, it got a second shot of new floor. Inside this pen, it is, they're also given a the center of the hay bale and they also have access to the hay feeder even the uh, lambs in the milk room get creep we're, just, we're using water pails for them and so they have uh, access to uh, free choice creep as well this group here is getting quite heavy and they're over 21 pounds and they're over 21 days of age so they're going to start to be weaned will gradually reduce the amount of milk that they get over the next couple of weeks. And we'll hopefully see an increase in how much hay and creep that they they continue to eat as, as, as well as their weight gain on a daily basis is maintained. We should be good to win them.